I remember you. being the reason for a child's smile, to be the spark that ignites all their hopes and dreams, for it is only through hopes and dreams that we may create a better world. One where our children need not be afraid, one where they are protected. After all, this company and its toys are nothing without them. These children deserve to smile, they deserve to love, and they deserve a safe home. That is why it is with enormous pleasure that as the founder of Playtime Co., I announce... Playcare! Our very own on-site orphanage. But it's not only that. It's a school, a playhouse, a place to belong. Our very own ecosystem beneath the surface dedicated in every inch and detail to ensuring a child's smile. It's teachers and counselors, mothers and fathers, until such a time they have all of that in you. May play care bring joy, inspiration, and smiles to all who enter these doors. For what gives life its meaning if not a smile?
Tragic news this morning as of 9.45 a.m. Following recent events, Playtime Co. was asked for any comment regarding the discovery. Despite Playtime's proclamation of Ludwig's innocence, Greetings, employees, and welcome to your first day here in Playtime. We're certain that in the days to come, you'll find your new family here every bit as loving and supportive as your own. Feel free to wander the halls, sit in the mess for lunch, or watch our children play and learn to their little hearts' content. Join the innovationists where the bounds of science are continuously pushed, or join the counselors of Playcare whose diligence and care for our children will help shape a brighter future. Just you see. Now, every one of you has your part in that future, so should you come back tomorrow feeling unhappy for where you are, or what you've done, 
Worry not, for your supervisor is here and happy to listen. And should you come back years later, your conscience finally getting the better of you, may you descend into the dark and the dust, finding all that awaits you are incomprehensible horrors, each hungry for your return, each eager that they might find you. Perhaps they'd smile at you from a shadow, their smiling mouths full of teeth and meat and plastic, watching and waiting patiently for their turn at a warm welcome. Or perhaps they won't allow you such time to figure your place in the world you'd left, a world that's theirs now. Welcome home.
actually here to help. <sighs> this place makes her tense. I'm glad that Ollie could help you get this far. He's the reason we found you at all. Looks like the train crash hurt us both. an explanation. Come on. Hey, you'll be okay. We'll be okay. you leave what's happening down here is bigger than all of us I need you so we can get revenge on those monsters who've tortured you who've tortured us they didn't act alone They're disciples of the original the prototype Prototype knows we're coming by now. If you try to escape, he'll kill you before you ever reach that front door. He's the reason I was trapped in that god-awful case for so long. You have no idea of the things he's done. Let me help you kill him. Let me help you save everyone. We've all seen you, how capable you are. You killed Huggy. You killed Mommy. You freed me. You are perfect for this. Catnap is coming. He's the final obstacle the prototype has placed against us. We can't stay here. Keep yourself safe. Ollie will call you. Speaking. Please wait. I recognize you. Yes, I remember. You used to work here. 
How are you? Alive. Huh? Barb? Oh. Barb says you're looking for your co-workers. Catnap wouldn't like that you're here. You should leave. For your own safety. Not a good listener, are you? You're a lot like the other humans in that way. I wonder if your screams will sound like theirs too. <laughs> I look forward to finding out. Hello, dude. Did you know that there are 60,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body? For comparison,
you a Padme's angel. Come to save us. Nothing left to save. Not here. Bird can't naps from the angel. They are home. A million pairs of eyes are on you now. Watching. Waiting. Hungry. They want nothing more than to crawl beneath your skin and eat away at you bit by little bit. <laughs> Fill what feels empty inside themselves. That thing. Catnap. The prototype is his god. And this is what he does to heretics. These little toys follow Catnap to avoid that very fate. And in return, they are fed. <clears throat> we try to fight it. The prototype's control. I am the last of the smiling critters. Listen to me. You need to get out of this place. You need to live. You and Poppy could fix this. End this madness. The torment. Oh no. Oh no. Leave me. Please. Just go. Run.
way we have to end this.
And you've done it again. The impossible. Just like I knew you would. Catnap's gone. The red smoke is diverted. Everything is falling into place thanks to you. If you're deep going, Adam, then you deserve to have the truth. You came back because of your co workers. You want to know what happened and why. This. This is your answer. We called it the Hour of Joy. slaughter that's all it really was they killed everyone the guilty the innocent didn't matter all of that death didn't fix anything and then once it was all over they dragged those corpses down below where they'd never be found and they ate the bodies to stay alive the prototype has to die for this. For everything. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Just hold tight, okay? After you! Once we hit the ground, we need to be cautious. There's something... 